click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this particular video we will learn the uh, AC analysis fundamental of your Cascode amplifier. Cascode amplifier along with BJT. So this is can this can be considered as CECB configuration for BJT. So in your examination they may ask you uh, do AC analysis of CECB configuration. So that is nothing but your Cascode analysis AC analysis. Uh, Cascode amplifier AC analysis. So let's discuss that. So here in this particular uh, screen you have AC equivalent model for your Cascode amplifier. So your basic Cascode amplifier is in front of you. This is your Cascode amplifier and for that Cascode amplifier we have to learn to draw the AC equivalent model. Mind well in AC equivalent model we have to uh, take the short circuit of all the DC sources and short circuit of all the coupling and bypass capacitors. So I am short circuiting all the capacitors so RE will be redundant, RE will not come into picture over here, RC, R1, R2 and R3 will be there. Moreover, here if we consider the AC analysis then in that case make sure that this R1 also becomes short circuited will be redundant. Why? Because if I am considering CC1 becomes short circuited then I can say that R1 ka one term first terminal is connected to the ground terminal and R1 ka another terminal which is also been connected to the ground so I can say that R1 will become redundant okay. So R1 will not come into picture at the base of Q2 or Q1 as well. So here I have to consider the AC equivalent model I will start from the input that is input is given to the CE mode of your C or cascode configuration. So this is nothing but your base resistance. Base resistance comprises of R2 in a parallel with R3. See to it that this R2 is one terminal is connected to the ground and second terminal is connected to the base. R3 is also having same scenario. One terminal is connected to the base terminal, another terminal is connected to the ground. So I can say that the same as that of your Thevenin's uh, voltage divider bias network will be getting this R2 and R3 in parallel. But R1 will not come into picture for AC analysis. So I can say RB1 is equal to R2 parallel R3. Now as usual we have drawn the uh, Q1 ka that is nothing but BJT1 which is in CE mode. So CE mode BJT ka AC equivalent model I have formed. Now at the output I don't have anything in this particular uh, BJT. So as far as BJT is concerned I have to consider the RO which is trending towards infinity. So if RO is equal to infinity this will be having open circuit and not connected to anything right. So this collector is directly connected to the emitter of the next stage. So next stage is CB configuration and this CB configuration may your R pi 2 that is input resistance of the transistor AC equivalent model is connected to the ground. So I am just taking emitter and base connection with R pi 2 resistance whereas base is directly connected to the ground as capacitor is been short circuited and the at the output side we will be having RC that is a collector resistance and it is connected to the voltage VO right. So far we have got some uh, complex type of AC equivalent model. Um, don't worry about the uh, model. Some in some books they may have uh, written as uh, this GM2 V pi 2 is in horizontal configuration and this R pi 2 is connected to this particular uh, E1, V2 is connected to E1 but that makes uh, some different kind of configuration and you will make, you may get confused. So we will not do that things, we will do the same configuration as GM1, GM1 V pi 1 here then R pi 1 here similarly, similarly I can say uh, R pi 2 here and GM 2 V pi 2 here. We will just uh, go through your 5 fingers and apply these 5 fingers and quickly we will be getting the value of voltage gain. So what we will be doing, we will apply the KV, KCL at the output node and that output node will be saying that we will start from here, node number A. So if we apply the output node pay KCL, what we will be getting? Here we have to find out the voltage gain, right? So apply KCL 
at output node A. Okay, so do we have same thing as that of your CE configuration may whatever we have done. So you can say that this uh, VO divided by RC that is nothing but one current and another current is nothing but GM2 multiplied by V pi 2. So we will put this into a formula that is nothing but GM2 into V pi 2 plus VO divided by RC is equal to 0. Now in this case I can say that we will apply the uh, we will say that V pi 2 as is working as an agent. So I will place this V pi 2. What is V pi 2? V pi 2 is at the input side of stage 2. So I can say that this V pi 2 is nothing but uh, this particular uh, value of uh, R pi 2 and I b 2, right? So let's see to it that what value we'll be getting. We'll be getting the value of V o and V pi 2. That is the first ratio that we will be getting. VO divided by V pi 2 is minus GM2 into RC. Okay. So, we will say that this is equation number 1. Okay. So, I have started from VO, I reach to V pi 2, right. And then we will again move to the next part that is nothing but at KV, KCL at this particular node. So, we will say that this node is node number B. Okay. So, with this node, we will play with KCL. So, we will say apply KCL at node B. If you apply KCL at node B, what will happen? <coughs> say that first current is going from this GM1 V pi 1 that is first current. Second current is going here that is uh, towards the ground B2 and third current is coming that is incoming. So, we, we can say that this is incoming current, this is outgoing current and this is outgoing current, right. So, we will place uh, the KCL as incoming current is equal to outgoing current. So, this will be your GM2 V pi 2 is equal to what will be the current which is flowing through this R pi 2. I can say that that is nothing but minus of V pi 2 divided by R pi 2 because V pi 2 configuration is plus and minus. So, according to V pi 2 configuration, we should have the current which is flowing from base to emitter side, but here current is flowing from emitter to base side. So, I can, I can say that it is nothing but minus of V pi 2 R pi 2. So, it is equal to minus of V pi 2 divided by R pi 2 plus we will be getting the uh, gm1 into v pi 1 okay as far as gm1 gm2 is concerned r pi 2 and r pi 1 is concerned it is very clear to you all that we will be getting this value in the given uh, values as far as numerical is concerned so let's see that we will we'll be getting the value of the ratio of v pi 2 and v pi 1 shall i get yes we can easily get we say that gm2 into r pi 2 plus 1 divided by r pi 2 multiplied by v pi 2 is equal to gm1 v pi 1. What is value is so very clear to you all. Uh, see to it that ki whatever value you have got, see. V pi 2 divided by R pi 2, I have taken at the left hand side and I can say that GM2 V pi 2 plus V pi 2 divided by 1 upon R pi 2. So, I am just taking the LCM so that we will be getting GM2 plus 1 upon R pi 2 as uh, GM2 R pi 2 plus 1 divided by R pi 2 multiplied by V pi 2 I am taking common parameter is equal to GM1 V pi 1 as it is. So, from that we get the ratio of V pi 2 and V pi 1. So, we will be getting the value of V pi 2 divided by V pi 1 is equal to G m 1 into R pi 2 divided by 1 plus G m 2 into R pi 2. 
I can say that this is the second equation we have got and this is how we have reached from v o to v pi 2 to v pi 1 okay now we have to learn that whether we will be getting this v pi this is not v pi this is a v pi 1 okay so we have reached to v pi 1 and now we have we want the value of v pi 1 in the form of v i so that i can take the ratio of v o to v i I can easily note that key, what is the value of vi, vi is nothing but v pi 1. So, we will be getting the third equation as v pi 1, you can say that from input, we will be getting vi is equal to v pi 1. So, I can say that v pi 1 divided by vi is equal to 1. So, I can say this is your third equation that you have got and from equation 1, 2 and 3 and then we will club all these three equations together we will be getting V O divided by V I. How? Let's see. So, we can say that V pi 2 V pi 2 margay, V pi 1 V pi 1 margay, I can say V O divided by V I that is nothing but your voltage gain. So, here it is voltage gain that I am getting for cascode amplifier with these three equations. So the first equation will uh, note that the first equation we have got as gm2 into rc. So let's write it in proper format minus gm2 into rc. Then we have got the value of v pi 2 divided by v pi 1 as gm1 into r pi 2 divided by 1 plus gm2 into r pi 2 okay then we have got the value which is 1 so i will say that it will be as it is you will be getting the value of voltage gain now if you concentrate if you see this particular uh, formula carefully i can get that gm2 r pi 2 divided by 1 plus gm2 r pi 2 that will be nearly equivalent to 1 only so i can say that we will say as gm2 <coughs> r pi 2 divide by 1 plus gm2 r pi 2 right will be same values is nearly equal to ok so as far as uh, gain is concerned the gain is much similar to your value of single stage bjt amplifier so if we say that voltage gain we have got as vo divided by vi is equal to minus of gm2 into rc so that is my first finding for voltage gain as far as the ac analysis is concerned so I can say that this is the A part that I have covered from the AC analysis and now we will have to again move for the input and output impedance as well, right. So let us see to it that at the input side we are getting here only we will be getting the value of input resistance that is nothing but your Ri, it is nothing but the parallel combination. So I can say that it is nothing but Rb1 in parallel with R pi 1 that is nothing but your input resistance. At the output side we are getting only one output resistance that is nothing but R O is equal to R C. Okay. So, whatever we have covered uh, so far that is nothing but the voltage gain, input impedance and output impedance. Now, we have to cover the current gain, right. So, let us see whether we are getting some value of current gain from the AC current model or not, right. That, that, that current gain is nothing but I can say that this current gain is your let us say output current that is I O with respect to your input current that is I I. Okay, so current gain I can say is nothing but A i is equal to I o divided by I i and now I want to split this I o divided by I i into n number of parts. Let us see, see to it that we will we'll be taking help of uh, voltage gain some parameters some equations and uh, let us see apply KCL at output node A. 
Now here we are not considering VO divided by RC, right? Because we want IO, right? So you can say that IO plus this GM two V pi two that is nothing but your KCL equation, right? So IO I can say directly as IO is equal to minus of GM two into V pi two, right? And as uh, okay, fine. I O divided by V pi two. That will be first equation that will be getting I O divided by V pi two. That is nothing but minus G M two. Simple. This will be your equation number one. And let's move ahead with the uh, already got. We have finding that is nothing but V pi two divided by V pi one is nothing but G M one R pi two divided by one plus G M two R pi two. So we'll write that equation as already form equation as V pi two divided by V pi one is equal to G M one R pi two. Divide by one plus G M two R pi two. So we'll treat this as equation number two. You're getting what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take the help of agent V pi two and V pi one. So we are we were at I O. We were reaching towards V pi two. From V pi two, we are jumping towards V pi one. And now from V pi one. We will be getting the value of I I, right? So let's try to say that this is nothing but your value I B one, okay? So from that V pi one, I will I'll be easily getting the value of I B one. I B one is nothing but the uh, ratio of this V pi one and R pi one from Ohm's law. So here we will say. V pi one, right? Divide by R pi one is equal to your value of I B one. I don't want that V pi one divided by R pi one is equal to I B one. I want the ratio which is reaching towards the input current. That is nothing but I B one. So I can say that we'll be getting I V pi one divided by I B one is equal to R pi one. That will be your third equation that we'll be getting. Okay, let's move ahead to calculate the value of exact value of I I. So we want the value of I I. So at the input side, we will be using one of the five fingers that is nothing but C D R. We want the current I I that is nothing but the total current, and I B one is the ratio. So we'll be getting that one particular resistance which is nothing but R B. Two, another resistance which is nothing but R pi one, R B one and R pi one. I'm sorry. And here we'll be getting the value current I I. Here value of current is I B one. And here I can decide. I want to find out the I B one, so I'll be using C D R. That is current divider rule. Directly apply C D R, so that we'll be getting I B one is equal to Some ratio of the resistances that is nothing but R B one divided by R B one plus R pi one multiplied by total current that is I I. If we take this total current from uh, right hand side to left hand side, I'll be getting the ratio of I B one to I I, and that will form your equation number four. And from equation number one, two, three, and four, we'll be directly reaching from I O to I I. So I O divided by I I, I can make out from these four equations. So let's see how we'll be getting. A I is equal to I O divided by I I is equal to I O divided by V pi two. That is first agent. Second agent is V pi one. That ratio will be getting V pi two divided by V pi one. Then we'll be getting V pi one divided by I B one, and from that we'll be getting I B one divided by I R. 
सो वी पाई वन वी पाई वन मर गए वी पाई टू वी पाई टू मर गए आई बी वन आई बी टू आई बी वन आई बी वन मर गए आई कैन से दैट आई ओ डिवाइड बाई आई आई अल्टीमेटली आई विल बी गेटिंग दैट इज नथिंग बट लेट से पुट दी वैल्यूज इच एंड एवरी रेशो सो लेट सी दैट जी एम टू देन विल बी गेटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ जी एम वन आर पाई टू डिवाइड बाय वन प्लस जी एम टू आर पाई टू multiplied by this v pi 1 divided by i v 1 that is nothing but r pi 1 okay multiplied by this r b 1 divided by r b 1 plus r pi 1 okay so far we have got again we will simplify this particular term as uh, this g m 2 into r pi 2 Divide by g is one plus g m two r by two will become one. So you can say this is approximated as g m one into this part will become one. So g m one into r by one multiplied by r b one divided by r b one plus r by one. So this is your current gain. So far we have got the fourth value. of your ac analysis that is nothing but d part of ac analysis so we have got current gain we have got voltage gain we have got input impedance we have also got the output impedance using cascode amplifier with bjt configuration so stay tuned for further videos where we will looking where where, where we will look for the numericals based on this uh, bjt as well as the fet right so learn more and more edc along with me along with ikeda videos subscribe the channel of ikeda videos thank you so much